Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Surujan. I am a mechanical engineer, a professional and a mechatronic enthusiast. So in this video, I will be talking about a, a module that is a water level sensor. So I will be telling you about how the working principle of this, how this works with the Arduino and the programming also. So this video series which I am making on Arduino is basically for the beginners who are looking for uh, understanding the Arduino and its modules. So watch the entire video to understand the the water level sensor and its working. So there are a lot of videos I have mentioned in the description related to Arduino modules which I have made before. So the links are in the description and also I have mentioned in the iCard above. So let's get started. This sensor is basically to measure the level of the water in the container or any other equipment, sump, pit or also to detect any leakage in the system or maybe a rainfall. So coming to the technical specification of this sensor, its operating voltage is 5V and has an analog output and it has a detectable depth of 40mm and its working current is less than 20mA. It works best in the temperature range of 10 to 30 degrees Celsius. You can see these 10 exposed copper lines. These are the sensors, the 5 of which are connected to the power and the other five are the sensing lines. These copper lines are placed alternatively and these sensing lines as I told you are not connected to each other and they only work when they are submerged. So basically you can see uh, there is a the power line and there is a sensing line and a power line. Sensing line and the power line they are placed alternatively. And uh, there is a power LED also which you can see on, uh, on the top here. So this lights up when you connect it to the Arduino board. That is when you power it up. So working of this water level sensor is very simple. These copper lines which are exposed together act as a variable resistor. Basically the resistance varies according to the level of the water. The change in resistance that is the water level is low the resistance will be high that means there is no conductivity happening in between this so as the water level increases the resistance decreases as the conductivity is increasing increasing so as a conclusion we can say so more the water more conductivity hence the water level is high based on the sensor output voltage according to the resistance observed which by measuring we can determine the water level so coming to the pinout of this sensor, this sensor has three pinouts. So the topmost is the signal. So this, as I already told you that uh, this sensor gives analog output. And analog output, this pin can be connected to the analog input on your Arduino board. And the middle one is the VCC that uh, is recommended to supply 5 volts. And uh, this the, the signal output is always dependent on the voltage input. And the last one, the bottom one is the ground. So what are the components which are required for this project? So you would require an Arduino Uno board and you would require a water level sensor and few jumper cables and uh, to connect your Arduino to the computer you would also require a USB A to USB B connector and also to dump the code. So let's get started with the connection. Yeah, so coming into the connection so here I have uh, the red for the power, black for the crown and uh, finally I have an orange jumper cable here for the signal. Okay, so, so now the sensor is connected. So let me just connect these three to the board. So here I have a ground with a ground positive terminal that is a red one to five volts. Okay, so then A0 that's the analog input. Okay. Yeah, as I told you, this is a very basic connection. So let me just plug the Arduino board. to my computer so I have made the connection with our sensor and the Arduino board I have connected the Arduino board to the computer so let's get started with the coding so as you can see uh, there is a very simple code uh, here 
and uh, this code is to uh, calibrate the sensor we need to know that what is the value we get when it is uh, at the lowest point and what is the value we give it get uh, when it is at the highest point okay so uh, i'm just serial uh, communication over here at uh, 9600 as baud rate and uh, then uh, i am just uh, uh, reading the analog read from the analog input and i'm printing it on the serial i'm just giving a delay of 100 milliseconds on each uh, value as an input okay so let me just uh, upload the code to the microcontroller yeah so it says it is done uploading over here and so let's let me just start uh, opening the serial monitor yeah so the serial monitor is open so now uh, i haven't dipped the sensor so let me get a glass of water over here and uh, let me just start touching the value yeah so when i touch it so i am getting a reading of uh, somewhere around uh, 590 So let me just write another program and show you guys about how we can print the values saying that it is 50% filled or fully filled okay okay so in the previous code i've already told you how you can take the the values when the fluid is low and in middle and when it is high okay so considering those values uh, i have considered another code so i'll just sh show you that code yeah so as you can see the code here uh, it's a very simple code and in the loop uh, i'm giving uh, 100 milliseconds as a delay and this is the value which is the variable which is defined as int here and i am assigning that to uh, 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 the values which are coming out of the read and the read function uh, read variable is defined as a0 pin and i'm using this analog read function to read the analog values from that pin okay so now anything below 500 it will show as empty or uh, empty and uh, anything above 500 and uh, 6, 625 will show 0 to 10 percent and the same way as uh, this in between if it is in between these two values it will show 50 percent and for 100 percent also the same values okay so let me just uh, upload this code to the microcontroller yeah so rxtx is blinking so it is done uploading let me start the serial uh, monitor okay so here it says okay so it is showing me uh, 0 to 10 percent because there is some small quantity of water on it as you can see here okay, sorry for the bad focus so i'm just clear the water uh, on it okay so now it is showing me empty okay it is showing me empty let me just show, let me dip the sensor into the water uh, it should show me 0 to 10 percent yeah and if i go inside it has to show me 0 to uh, it should show me 50 percent yeah and if i go inside show me 100 percent yeah so the sensor is working good so this is all about uh, the water level sensor uh, module working with the arduino and it is very simple guys so let's talk about the drawback of the sensor the drawback of the sensor is however uh, uh, it has a very short lifespan when it is as it is exposed uh, to the moist environment always okay and uh, to avoid this uh, i would recommend only use uh, power the sensor whenever you're taking the readings because when the power is applied uh to the probe constantly the speed the that is the rate of uh, the corrosion increases thank you for watching this video and hope you like this video i'll be making more videos on electronics related to arduino and there's an upcoming video related to drones so subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever the video is published so if at all you like this video please share with your friends let them know about it and help them too thank you for watching see you in the next one Bye bye